needless to say, I have next to me one of the Manchester United legends, of Dimitar Berbatov. Good afternoon, Dimitar. Good afternoon. How are you doing? All good. And you're here in the Malta stand. I mean, you've obviously been to Malta. What was your first impression of it? What, what was the thing that, when you came home, you said, oh, I like that. Was it food? Was it architecture? I what friendliness? I, th I think the, uh, a lot of factors put together, uh, starting with the sun and the warm weather. For me, that's a paradise. If I have a sun, a warm weather, uh, the sea, the views, and then it comes the food, because it doesn't matter what type of food you like, they can accommodate everything. Uh, the hotels, you know, the people, the smiles, and uh, just that vibe that it gave me of peace. I don't know why. To me, it was just peace. The way where I go, I felt at peace with myself. And as I said, for sure, I'll be coming back either with my kids or with my wife just to have a good time. And what did you think of the food? Whenever I've been to Malta, one of the things that struck me was absolutely fantastic food with a mixture of North African. Mediterranean, there's all sorts of mixtures in there. Well, because I need to stay in shape, as you can see. Obviously, right? me too. Yeah, I need to take care of my body. <laughs> of my body. And my uh, way of eating is a bit different than probably other people. Uh, but nonetheless, when we go to the restaurants, and whatever I would ask if it's possible to be made for myself, you know, the chef or the manager with a smile on the face say, yes, of course, we can do that. So it was a great a surprise to to see that it doesn't matter what it is because I was with other people who eat and differently they can accommodate every taste it doesn't matter if it's a vegan vegetarian or something else you can not stay hungry Manchester United obviously have a big footprint in Malta as far as supporters are concerned yeah. when you went there instantly recognized mobbed Asked for I autographs? Was, yeah, I was, but uh, I never been to the fan club in their headquarters. And it was a great place to visit because you see the pictures of back in the days of uh, Sir Alex and uh, the, 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 the Cubs and, and the people who visited before. And it was memorized on the walls uh, with the t shirts with the flags, with the boots, with everything, you know, like like great place to be and to visit. And for me, it was a great experience because we watched the game together uh, with, with the fans we won, which makes it even more special. So it was a great experience. So you saw the game with the fan club on Saturday? Yeah, I did. A and did you see the goal? No, I didn't see the goal. <laughs> we left in the 19th minute uh, because we needed to go. But then as soon as we were walking down the stairs, getting into the into the cars, you hear like, ah! so now you know that we score. Yeah. But in the end, the most important thing was that we get the three points. And do you think a 25-year-old Dimitar Berbatov will get into the front team now? For sure. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> and when you went to Malta, did you wear one of your famous leather jackets? Uh, no, because the sun was so bright and so hot. So maybe some other time, a different location. But there I had some other clothes, cool one as well.